terms of 2012, we did amazing. And I think the Paralympics really just showcased what we can do for, as a country, as a nation, for disability sport. We didn't showcase disability, we showcased ability. Yeah. And these para-athletes then went across the world to compete in you know, normal competitions like they do as their job. And it was just the biggest come down for them. <laughs> What? What was? Just... Just being in stadiums where it wasn't appreciated. Mm. Their athletic ability, the races, you know, um, when you're an athlete, you want, to, you want to show off what you can do and you want to showcase to crowds and to people, like, this is what I do and I'm really, really good at it. But, I, I mean, it's going over <laughs> ten days, isn't it? It is, So you're yes. at ten days at the former Olympic Stadium, which I think is a capacity of 56,000? It is. So that's 560,000 over 10 days. It's over yep. half a million people. And I'm assuming <clears throat> that you're going to have sort of mornings, yes. afternoons and evening sessions. Yeah. That's a lot of tickets. It is a lot of tickets. For and any event. For any event. But, and I think, you know, the whole legacy thing, you know, which, which was thrown around in, after 2012 was such a big... Um, Oh, it's such a big campaign, wasn't it? That's what Seb Co got the, the, the bid for, was to inspire yep. a generation. And it is possible. The tickets are ridiculously cheap. How cheap? Three pounds for children. Three pounds. And I think, you know, I, I personally think, you know, it should, it should be free in a way because well, to try and get people in there. How much for adults? I'm not sure. I'm I think it's say ten, ten pounds. I was about to say ten pounds. Yeah. But we want to just come along, see the sport. Let's, you know, let's re welcome our athletes back.